of the dog that bit me. Hi everybody, welcome back to the True. I'm Josh from Hair the Dogcast. I'm back from Tampa, sorry I wasn't here last week, but we have a nice content filled episode today. I talk about the Tampa beer scene. I had to get away for a little bit. Uh, beaches, pools, breweries, good eats, good food. And uh, today I'm going to share a can of Riot Juice with y'all. Uh, Riot Juice is a very popular uh, beer from Hidden Springs. One of my favorite beers or breweries out in the Tampa area. And, uh, they focus uh, on Berliner uh, Bril Rice fruit beers, pastry, sours, is like a color. And this is one of their most popular beers. Uh, when they release it, I'm sure it sells pretty fast, but they happened to release it shortly before we got there. But yeah, very fun artwork. Um, yeah, this is uh, Berliner Weiss, blackberry, lime, lactose and vanilla. So yeah, I know it's trendy to almost hate on the new styles of the lactose and vanilla beers, but uh, these guys glorify it. And uh, yeah, they even had a shirt that said lactose and beer like 100 times on the shirt. Or, lactose and vanilla, so um, I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, so uh, very pretty beer. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you about some of the breweries I stopped at, meteries, um, and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna dig into this one here. But yeah, this is Riot Juice from Hidden Springs Ale Works. Cheers, y'all. Great beer. Nice little tart. You get that little vanilla, a little creaminess, a little sweetness, a big berry kick, that blackberry. It's exactly what you'd expect it to be. So uh, great job, Hidden Springs. And uh, I'm gonna dig into my trip in Tampa. So uh, first stop was at Copper Tail. And uh, they had some good stuff. We didn't have a lot of time there, but uh, I did try. IPA, that was very good. It was a uh, hazy, not too hazy, but it was hazy. Uh, it was good, New England style. And then uh, they actually surprised me uh, with a barrel aged stout they had that had a really nice vanilla kick in it. I don't believe there was vanilla in it, but that barrel aging did some uh, wonders for that stout. Yeah, I, uh, I wish we had a, had a little bit more time to dig in there, but we made it. Either way, I had a few. Copper Tail, definitely worth checking out. And then uh, we made our way to Clearwater, uh, Honeymoon Island, and on the way back I know the Seventh Sun. And uh, Seventh Sun, it was their original facility, smaller, clearly a smaller facility where they started. And uh, cool vibe, cool little place, you know, beautiful weather, and all the beers were good. Uh, I will say Florida really, uh, the craft beer, breweries out there uh, really focus on their sweet, big fruited, like like Berlin Advice sours like these, and uh, big, sweet pastry stouts, and uh, hazy New England IPA as well. But mainly I'd say big pastry stouts and the big uh, Berliners and sours, big fruit. Uh, Big Fruit Delights, yeah, what do you want to call them? Um, and then we uh, traveled down the road uh, to CUNY, it's spelled C-U-E-N-I. Uh, CUNY, uh, we only had one there. Uh, it's a nice little, like, cute stop. We got to hang out outside, have a nice uh, coffee blonde, it was good. Uh, but, so we, Quick in and out there, and then later on that night we went to a Garrett G Stay Meadery, and they do their uh, reboot series, uh, Uber backwards, uh, like a peanut butter jelly kind of meats. Uh, they're very desserty meats. They had a few barrel aged meats. Um, they're very sweet. They like to say <laughs> uh, diabetes meats. 
because there's so much sugar in those. Uh, really nice little spot, uh, cute nice little spot. And uh, if you're not familiar with meads, uh, they're a honey wine. So uh, different than beer, obviously. Different category altogether. But a lot of the craft beer uh, folks are like liking what they're having from some of these meaderies around like Pips in Chicago and uh, Superstition in Arizona. Like, they're very desserty, they're very sweet, they use real high quality products for their for what they produce and honey's not cheap so it is a little more pricey to try these but definitely worth it if you get to try them. Um, so that was a nice visit. Um, surprisingly there was nobody there. But it was late night. I don't know what day of the week that was. But uh, glad we made it down there. And then we finally hit up Hidden Springs Ale Works. One of my favorite stops. I stopped there three times. And I stayed there for a week. And my Airbnb is close by as well. But yeah, again, they focus on the pastry sours, Berliner Vices. But I will say, I had some uh, some of their stouts at, uh, shamefully, they didn't have any of their big stouts there available. Of course, the, the weekend after they have a big release, but I had a couple at a Funk Factory, it's pre-party for the Great Taste, and they blew my mind. They were so good, and it's such a bummer that uh, they had nothing available. But either way, they make a lot of good stuff. I will say my favorite beer I had in the whole trip was their Big Guava Energy. It was ridiculous. I That, I just could drink all day. It's low ABV. So you can session drink it, but it has that big guava flavor with a nice vanilla, like really nice vanilla flavor in that. Um, but yeah, that was my favorite beer definitely on the whole trip, uh, which surprised me. I think that was the last one I had on the whole menu because I was sampling through their 20 taps through the, through the week. That was the last one I had. Of course, that's the best one. So you never know, you might get surprised in what you try, you know. Uh, but yeah, so, at Hidden Springs, we made our way to Angry Chair. And Angry Chair is very known for their uh, big, like, some of the sweetest stouts you'll ever have. Like, they really lock that category down. The pastry stouts, like, crazy adjuncts. Hazelnut, chocolate, coffee, coconut barrel aging and their big beers. I have, I think I had six or seven full flights uh, glasses of uh, all their stuff they had because I didn't know if I was going to make it back. So I wanted to try all. But man, it's a, it's a bit much. Uh, it's nicer to pace yourself with those. They did have a couple nice uh, pastry sellers like this. And uh, yeah, uh, so a couple pastry sours, uh, a couple traditionals, and they actually had a space grass, I believe that's what it's called. It's a good, really good IPA. Um, they did, yeah, they, they, they focused on all the, the hazies. Same style, pastry sours, pastry stouts to the max. And uh, yeah, the hazy. My beers, uh, but I'm glad I made it down there. Uh, my favorite one from them was the, the Trail. It was a no adjunct stout, which is something they don't commonly do. Sugar overload, but they make great stuff. Uh, and yeah, that was top. I was up there. That's one of the top of my list. Definitely to make it down. And uh, we did stop at Cigar City. Somebody said that pretty much a lot of these really good craft breweries um, were formed originally. Like, brewmasters from Cigar City went and did their own things. So, they are very iconic for Florida. We did make it down to Cigar City's Cider and Eatery, and they actually had some really good uh, ciders. Um, and uh, they trained their meat, but uh, yeah, they had a, what was it, a mango habanero kind of cider. That was really good. Um, they were all good. The apple pie, they had an apple pie cider. Um, and then the biggest surprise during this trip, uh, Arcane Ale Works, that's in Largo, uh, south of Clearwater, I believe. Their stouts are fantastic. Best cocoa flavor I've ever had in a stout in 
my life probably was their Cuckoo Desert Eagle. I believe they do three barrel batches on everything they do. It's not very big. Um, they have crawlers. I don't know if they do bottle releases or anything like that. But yeah, they have some good sours. They're the total Florida hazy pastry sours and uh, big stouts. But those are really sweet, but a little more balanced, I think. But man, Arcane Ale Works, make sure you get out there, check them out. I definitely can't wait to try them, them down the road. After Arcane, uh, next day we made it down to Cycle Brewing. You have to go to Cycle Brewing. These guys are nailing it with their stouts. They have, they have a lot of good stuff on tap. And uh, Cycle, man, they, they, they just kill it. Barrel aged stouts. Uh, picked up some bombers. I can't wait to try them. But uh, yeah, yeah. Had, had, <laughs> I will say I was so full. It's about three days of being disgustingly full of food and beer. Good beer and good food. Yes, yeah, cycle was definitely on the top of my list as well. Great experience. Nice little tap room. Yeah, that kind of sums up my trip. Tampa Bay beer community. Uh, get down there, try a bunch of good stuff. I'd recommend maybe a little more when it. Just make sure it's warm when you go. If you're into the warm weather like I am, uh, sadly, for those days are like in the 60s. Uh, but that sun is nice. So, not like a sunny day and a good beer, right, guys? So, back to Riot Juice from Hidden Springs, Aleworks. Big berry, big vanilla. A little bit of lime. It's nice. But it's not too much lime. I'm more of a berry guy than a lime guy. So, what am I going to give Riot Juice? Let's give Riot Juice uh, a solid 8.75 juice boxes out of 10. Um, it's a nice score, it's a very good sour. And there's a reason why it's very popular in the area and around the craft beer community around the world. People want to try that. These guys make great stuff. So, so are like, all the breweries we hit up, like, there's a lot of really great stuff, great experiences, great beers had. Man, now I'm back here, having more beers with y'all. Uh, I'm happy to share my trip with you. Uh, please like, subscribe to Hair the Dogcast on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, Want to talk beer with me? Please reach out to me. Um, I'm on Twitter, I'm Draft Josh. Uh, Ghostbuster Josh on Instagram. And you can reach out to our email, hairthedogcast at gmail.com. And uh, this is uh, a true thank you for joining me and my experience to Tampa. Make sure you get down there and check it out. Hey, cheers, y'all. And hey, go pack. Go pack, go.